And we are live today to another session of DQ Labs Conversations. Today we have architect Tejas Joshi. Um, he's an architect from CEPT Ahmedabad. And he is going to be talking about the NATA 2020 analysis today over the next 30, uh, 60 minutes, sorry. Um, now, I hope that the NATA 2020 went well for each of you. So good evening to everyone and uh, very happy to have all of you here for this particular session. Um, now, just to inform you that uh, Tejas is, is a very, um, yeah, so Tejas is a very good architect and a good faculty from us, all right, uh, from DQ Labs, and he's here to advise you on what, how you, now there the are two objectives here. Number one objective is what has happened in the 2020 uh, NATA for the first session, which was on the 29th, and how you can prepare yourself for the next one, which is on September 12th. All right. Uh, just so you know, tomorrow there is another webinar that we are doing with SJB School of Architecture and Planning. Please come and, and be part of that webinar as well. Uh, do like this and subscribe to our channel, and you can always ask us questions in the questions tab. All right. Uh, so this is the uh, the one for tomorrow, and um, I think we have analyzed the question paper that's come in. There's tremendous questions that have come in. Um, you know, pretty much every question that was in the PTQs uh, in the actual paper have also been covered Hello. in. Yeah, they just one second. I'm just giving the introduction. Yeah. So I think uh, uh, one thing which is Hello. very yeah one thing which is very cool is that uh, pretty much every question that was in the nata 2020 new pattern uh, was on on uh, the dq edge uh, you know platform as well not the question exactly but similar questions or similar formats all right and that's what we are going to be discussing here as well so please Look into NATA 2020, the new pattern. There are 501 questions there, and there are learn content as well, which is very, very good. So you can use that to prepare for the next NATA. Now, uh, Tejas, are you uh, there? Yes. Yeah, you're there, right? Would you like to share your screen, please? Yeah. Uh, can you give me the access? Yeah, yeah. Just hold on. Yes, you should have access now. Yes. All right. So thanks, Tejas, for making it here. And... Um, if you could start off with your part of the presentation and then we'll take the question and answers in the next few minutes. Yeah, hello everyone. So uh, we just, uh, two days back, we had our first NATA exam <clears throat> and uh, a lot of students, few of them have attempted the exam from their home and few have attempted from their, uh, from the center. So there have been many students who have also taken uh, exam from their home. So what uh, we have compiled is a few questions to discuss with you. So let's uh, start uh, with it. So in part A for the PTQs, few of them got the question with uh, count the number of hidden tigers other than the four tigers. So this was a question <coughs> basically of the visual uh, ability of uh, testing the visual ability and how uh, good are you at observation skills. So basically, uh, I guess the answer for this was 13 for other than the four uh, uh, tigers, which are seen quite obviously. We, so this was a 17 mark question. And some of you got 
this question of the forest has eyes and you had to count the number of hidden faces so i guess this also has answer of 13 where there are uh, numerous hidden faces uh, which one cannot see very obviously but they are hidden into stones and trees and the uh, other landscape features of the picture then <coughs> uh for the 16 mark questions for the prefer preferential type questions um a few of them were based on the principles of design which uh, a lot of uh, which uh, many of them had uh, about a lot of options maybe almost like 26 options and you had to select four and they were basically uh 2d drawings or you can say few were with uh, uh a lot of uh, textures uh, maybe uh, one was with a square brick placed on the stairs and with some gray and white uh, smooth texture so almost 20 options were there uh, different options like foreground background so basically these are principles of design which were asked and you had to select the best four out of the given options then there were now the question was to uh, find uh, out the features uh, of an arch given in the image then few of them were of cubes boxes t shaped 3d object etc then there was one with the floral pattern and <clears throat> few of them uh, one of them was with cubes with black white and gray and also these had these had like almost 20 options with different principles of design so majorly these 16 markers were based on the principles of design so uh, what i would like to uh, bring to your notice is all of uh, all these questions uh, we have almost cover all covered all these type of questions in our study material on dq edge so you can find a lot of questions like these on dq edge as well which you can practice for your for your next test then for mcqs uh, for the 10 markers uh, in part a <coughs> you had something like circuit boards or some uh, or a color scheme <coughs> with a right hand and left hand combination where there were multiple colors given and you had to choose options from the given then there was uh, one with the bizarre effect and this is a kind of an image which we suppose was asked for the definition of bizarre effect and different options were given to find out what that definition means then uh, one was with chromosteropsis uh, and then you had to identify that term and the basically the uh, definition of the same was given and there were different uh, different uh, terms with starting with c uh, where you had to find the correct answer then multiple uh, uh, questions with different types of color washing color mixing color blending type of so you had to find out what was that then patterns again with some black and white patterns then there was this mass matchstick questions where you have to just move two matches and make four squares out of it then uh, again painting there was a painting with two two or three glass bottles a yellow tin and uh, an orange object painted and then what you had to do is uh, you had to match the color scheme with the picture given and uh, also uh, what these uh, 10 markers were they were majorly based on your uh, uh, the scheme of colors how do you uh, how do you perceive colors how do you perceive different types of patterns in those so these were based on them then <coughs> for part b if you uh, talk about architectural awareness a lot of these uh, uh, many of uh, a lot of students uh, got few of uh, them have uh, 
few of them got some other questions few of them have the diff had the different set so these were the type of questions which were asked regarding modern architecture who is founded the modern architecture or who built the sydney opera house or <clears throat> uh, what is griha then there were few questions with paper cutting and paper folding or uh, paper folding with holes made into the paper and then you have to find out how many holes uh, does the paper have when you unfold them then there was some questions regarding uh, hidden image in the pattern then uh, who won the pritzker prize for 2018 that was asked then uh, the style uh, who uh, conceive uh, uh, conceived the style of deconstructism in architecture which is rem kulas and then there were some regarding architecture elements like atrium awnings aisle corbel <coughs> then few uh, histor history questions like who built fatehpur sikri then who the architect of madhya pradesh parliament then uh, out of one was out of these four who is not an architect then where uh, basically architectural awareness questions like where is arc de triumph or where is the buckingham palace uh, situated so all these questions if you see part b uh, these questions you might have uh, uh, revised a lot of these kind of questions where these are were quite obvious that these kind of questions would come unlike the part a which was quite new for you then uh, if you go to aptitude uh, you had mirror images counting of squares triangles then you had uh, to identify top view side view of 3d objects then again paper cutting questions seat uh, questions for for seating arrangements then <clears throat> again uh, hidden patterns in circles squares triangles then there were few questions with analytical reasoning mathematical reasoning and so on then if you uh, 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 go to pcm there were quite a bit of questions varying questions on different topics like probability permutation combination then mathematical reasoning integrals arithmetic and ge geometric progressions then sets and uh, again area calculations or those kind of questions then uh, if you see chemistry and physics uh, students were asked about organic chemistry then uh, or which is the most metallic of the uh, following uh, of the following then uh, about hydride saline molecular all that then in physics uh, questions about semiconductors magnetism electrostatics uh, identifying the principle used in ofc cables these were the questions which were asked basically so few uh, these are moreover uh, the questions which were asked uh, and there were two sets uh, one set was for the students who gave their exam from home and the other was for them uh, who gave from the center yeah so these were like uh, what we uh, have uh, uh, compiled a few for your discussion so i think uh, dion we can uh, hello dion yes they just hold on yeah yeah uh, so you're done with this now a lot of questions coming in they just regarding uh, uh, okay so so one is um, one set of questions is from people who are asking about the technical issues all right all right um or rather before that someone's asked for all these answers in a pdf format all right all right right so uh starting from the beginning sunny choria drawing okay so sunny choria drawing um i'm i'm guessing you you want to discuss this with the, your students as well uh, unfortunately the exact questions have not been informed by uh, the coa yeah. So yes, yes. if the exact questions come, we cannot give the answer keys out. All right. 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 So we'll give that. Um, a lot of 
questions okay yasha bandari is asking if both attempts have been selected during the registration so during the registration for nata you have selected i want both to try for both attempts that's uh, there's yeah. first and second attempt uh, does the choice of test center need to be filled again uh, i'm not sure about this answer uh, what do you think uh, no i think uh, they might have to choose they they might have an option to choose uh, where they can attempt the question again for the new uh, the the next exam so i think yeah. there might be an option there. yeah so so mr yasha vandari please check uh, sign in to your um, you know your your nata account and check whether they have that all right so there will be a new admit card for sure Uh, yeah. But you will have to check whether they give you that option, and on, and if you have any doubts, please reach out to the Council of Architecture directly. They would be the same, and the same question is with uh, Shubha Raja. Okay, so please reach out to the Council of Architecture, send them an email. They will uh, either respond or they will give you the option again. Okay, now uh, Kaushik C. Now Kaushik C is not alone. Uh, there are. hundreds of students here who have faced the same uh, issues as you so kaushik is asking about the technical issues that they they faced all right uh, in his case he has missed seven questions or rather seven questions okay. were skipped dr ramesh is saying at the center two questions appeared with images the rest of the questions appeared without images all right um so similar questions from a lot of people here so uh, what can you probably advise these students when it comes to these technical issues uh, they just yeah so what they need to do is uh, they need need to write an email to uh, either the nata help desk or the coa academic wing and also they can uh, keep the coa president in cc and i am sure a lot of students have been uh, uh, faced with these issues so they will definitely do something or the other to uh, to get back to these difficulties and resolve those issues what the students so maybe they might uh, whatever the students have skipped they might take that into consideration as well so uh, what you can see on the slide is the email id is where you can uh, share the problems what you had faced with your Uh, exam id or whatever the uh, your exam id was and you can then uh, they they will get back to you all right all right um now coming down to the next few questions sanjana siddharaj is asking um did now for the in the case of the 17 marker all right mm -hmm. uh she saying what if she didn't get the exact number of images or red of tigers or, or faces then is all the 17 marks gone or is there uh, partial marks no no there 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 is partial marking for the 17 mark question so uh so that uh the students might uh, will not be knowing because uh there were only uh, the options which were given they had to choose from those options so if you are quite close to uh, the answer then you will get maybe 14 15 or 12 that kind of marking system is what they are going to do for the 17 mark question all right all right um so that's good navami k is asking would they conduct it again soon because there were so many tech issues with the first round yeah so uh, once all the uh, queries and problems uh, reach them they will definitely think of uh, whether to conduct or not but uh, right now we don't have any official information from them but what i can suggest is uh, everyone should uh, also attempt the second test as well so you have to attempt the second test because that is again uh, one uh, chance you have to whatever you had faced the difficulties or whatever if uh, you didn't uh, if the it uh, if you were not able to uh, score well so we have an option of the second test 
so i think uh, the they will if they want to uh, retest uh, take the retest of the first one it will happen maybe after the second test and it might not happen before the second test so i recommend to everyone that you should attempt the second test as well everyone all right thank you uh, for that yeah um now leela shrinivasa is asking whether we can discuss the answers too um we can discuss the answers but uh, i think before that uh, we'll just take a few few more questions and then we'll come back to the answers all right um yeah now uh, you know there are a couple of of comments here these are not really questions all right but given 10 marks to a single mcq is crazy imagine a person working so hard for, on pcm and aptitude and losing critical marks due to the 10 markers in mcqs all right um so this um this this kind of a, a you know um an opinion is also reflected not just by you but by a lot of people here all right uh, mm -hmm. i think sushant sivakumar and uh, kaushik and and a lot more um you know people are having the same questions now at this point of time if i can just share my screen yeah yeah and um uh, let me just share my screen and hold on so uh for those of you all who have access to dq edge we have a probably let me go back here all right so if you had access to dq edge there were three different uh topics here one was there's a learn section which had the class recordings it had the 501 predicted questions and the preparation preferential type questions and in the practice section there were um, you know 501 questions as well now what i and of course mock test as well all right um but what i want to show you if you go into the learn <laughs> section all right and if you click on preferential type questions and sample questions for learning there were seven or eight types of questions that we put in here all right now um for example if i click on type 1 okay this one appears right now this is exactly um okay uh, so we've said that this could be a possible question and and this is how many human animal figures and other species are here within the elephant form so this is exactly a question that we had predicted all right so this is a similar question and you got similar question similarly if you look at these questions okay principles of design align the design align the design elements of the painting in in terms of importance all right um in this question type 3 this is type 2 all right so this is type 2 uh what best describes the visual element shape all right so shapes add texture rhythm depth movement uh so all these things are there now i'll show you examples of other questions all right here um explain the mood in in seven sentences or less now this has not come this time next time it they may ask you to explain all right so how does this make you feel so we don't know now even this uh, we have asked you to explain it in in seven sentences now they may not ask you to explain it in seven sentences they may give you options which describe this and you may have to choose from an mcq all right so this is another uh, qu set of questions that uh, uh, that keep 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 coming you know so um given below images of sculptures and furnitures of buildings which statements are true so please go through all these questions all right we have uh, listed these okay count the number of people with a mustache in a, in this picture right so it's not just one question that was given to you it was multiple questions of these formats so you should have been ready for this again type number 7 all right choose the appropriate terms which describe the sketch all right foreshortening perspective vertical twilight summer horizon so all these things have been covered all right depth foreground background 
you know, select these. So all of these have been covered. I hope those who have gone through these samples in detail would have uh, done well for sure. And, and I must commend the DQ Labs R&D team for taking the trouble to create this well ahead of time and giving it to our students, uh, you know, before the exam as well. Uh, and the same things have come, or similar things have come into the exam, all right? So that is something that I think is uh, is uh, good. And um, Tejas, I'm going to let you sh share your screen again, all right? Because, uh, Tejas, please uh, share your screen. Yeah. All right, so uh, again, the importance of him sharing his screen is because of, um, you know, people want to know whom to connect with for the technical issues. Um, now, there are questions regarding the specific questions. So I brought that up simply because uh, some of you all are in the, in the mode that the 10 markers were bad and, and the 17 markers were bad. But I think if you had gone through uh, DQ Edge in detail, you would have got absolutely every one of these question types, all right? Um, yeah. Anyone remember the, okay. Uh, so there are questions here, specific questions regarding the mirror image, all right? So we are not sure what the image, uh, mirror yeah. image question was. So if you can, if someone can probably find it on the internet and share it with us, that would be good, all right? Well, then we can discuss that particular one. Um, was it Zaha Hadid? Uh, Kaushik is asking whether one of the questions was uh, the answer was Zaha Hadid. Um, they just would you have yeah, so what, Zaha what Hadid? The question? The, I think yeah. in your presentation, if you go back on yeah. one of the MCQs, Zaha Hadid comes in two places. Just a minute. Yeah, so uh, in this, uh, where who is not an architect, the answer is M.F. Hussain because he is a painter and artist and not an architect. Was this the question? Uh, possibly. There was another question. Yeah, possibly. That was the question. Is there any other question with Zaha Hadid is referenced? Yeah, so even one more question was for modern architecture and the answer is, I think, Walter Gropius and not Zaha Hadid for this. Okay, okay. So Kaushik, I hope you have your answers there. Now, uh, Kaushik is also saying that none of the options given suited the question diagram. Do you think that could be possible, uh, um, Tejas? Uh, there is a very small chance of the uh, question not suiting the answer because uh, there might be some hidden meaning or some hidden uh, which is not very obvious for the eye. So I think when the answer key is out, it would be more uh, uh, clearer. And also uh, it has happened that uh, the answer key, uh, when uh, they release the answer key, uh, they find out that one of the options was wrong. So everyone would get the, uh, get the benefit of that. And each one who has attempted the question would get uh, uh, one mark or whatever the marking is there for that question. If there is any problem. With the... All right. So I hope that uh, solves your question or clear, clarifies it <laughs> to a certain level. Okay. Uh, Shubham uh, Rajam is, us, is saying that variable marks should be there. There's probably variable marks. Yeah, okay. yeah that, that is there. Going to be there. Leela Srinivasa is saying there was no question on color theory and building materials. Okay. So what would you say to that? I mean, uh, the questions regarding um, the colors and chromo. Uh, yeah, that was basically color perception. You might not call it a color theory, but it was regarding color perception. And again, building materials, if you say... Uh, uh, what they can ask is in the next exam, they might ask something about building materials and not may, they might not have asked anything 
about that in this exam so it it is uh, rather uh, quite possible that few of the topics which are in the syllabus might not have been covered in the uh, question paper that is also a possibility yeah but i guess that is very unpredictable anyway is it yeah yeah that is quite unpredictable yeah yeah this the syllabus is vast and uh, yeah um right so didn't have a sing so dead 26 is saying didn't have a single question history question or identify pics in my shift could that be a technical issue or uh, or uh, because the other students who took it from either the center or took it from home got pictures right uh, but dead okay. 26 is saying didn't have a single history question or identify pics in my shift uh so he just uh, does he remember does he or she remember that whether few of the questions uh, skipped or whatever the number of questions were going to be asked has he attempted those number of questions he yeah. needs to so then uh, could 26 if you could uh, probably reply to that then we can get little, give you a little more clarity all right um yasha bandari has rephrased the question um i think uh, like we mentioned you may get the option to uh, to put in select your center or select your home and you should probably connect with the council of architects and email them in case um, they don't give you the option yet all right yeah ananya krishna is asking would you suggest taking the second test at home or at the test center uh you can choose any of the options but i guess uh, the only thing at home you sh should uh, uh, be sure of that is of the uh, internet connection a good a very good internet connection because there might be uh, server issues for the uh, 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 website and also you need to check about uh, whether you have the battery backup for your laptop or desktop whatever you are working on because during a power failure it should not happen that the entire system got, got uh, disconnected and then you have no other option so uh, that is one thing which uh, you can uh, check but i i don't think there is any problem in uh, se selecting uh, any of the option all right um yeah i i think that is a very subjective and personal choice yeah. well. you know some some people who have uh, elderly parents at home would not really want to take the risk of uh, parents or grandparents at home you know they would not want to take the risk of going to a center so uh, for those students you know the better choice is to of course uh, stay at home Yeah. but like like they just mentioned if you can you know, you know just sort out your internet issues that would be good all right and also well, the students who have faced problems it is both the type of students who have faced problems regarding servers it is not only students at the center or at home who have faced problems so you it is up to you which uh, option to choose yeah i think that's that's uh, a, a good point uh, they just thank you for that all yeah. right uh shaker ji is saying in the given nata syllabus none of the questions were related to the question paper pattern so is there any chance of conducting the exam again because of the syllabus issues no i think the syllabus was uh, followed by the council of architecture as an exam so whatever the uh, just i think a month back they had revised the pattern with Uh, because of the current pandemic they had cancelled the drawing test so i think whatever the part a and part b uh, what they had uh, uh, revised the pattern and the marking system i think they uh, did uh, follow the same and i don't think the syllabus there might be few uh, topics which might not have been covered but i think the pattern was the same which uh, they had uh, shared with everyone yeah yeah um, pretty much pretty much so all right uh, but i think i think also for those who have gone through dq edge uh, the nata 2020 new pay pattern i think there pretty much every 
type of question was covered right there would have been variation yeah. on the question but every every question type was covered what do you think uh, uh, tejas in terms of yeah yeah so 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 the the new pattern which uh, we updated on the uh, uh, dqh they uh, all all the types of questions were covered along with the ptqs so also uh, all types of questions uh, were uh, 16 markers 17 markers 10 markers and other mcqs those were quite updated in the uh, the on dqh yeah cool so sadik sheik is asking when will they release response sheets uh we are we are not yet sure so it might also happen <clears throat> that they will uh, release the answer keys only after the set, second exam because there might be be a possibility where few maybe two or three or five questions might be, get repeated in the second exam as well so we are not very sure there is no uh, official uh, news yet from them but it seems to be like Uh, the answer key would be released only after the second exam and not before the first one all right all right uh, during the exam people taking the test from home were informed that a 360 degree of the room will be captured but that did not happen will that happen in the second attempt uh yeah the, so uh it there might be few cases where so it is just that they might check at any time whether you are doing any uh, uh whether you are cheating or whether you are uh, connecting with others to find out answers so because uh, uh you your uh, your uh, systems have a, a camera they might check on anyone at any given time so it is better that you attempt your whenever you are at home or whether uh, you are at uh, the center you attempt your exam being true to yourself and it, uh, see to it that it's only your effort and not anyone others so it is just a precaution from their side that they might check at any given time all right all right um coming down to the next few question um right lata shrinivasan is saying it will be i will be glad if you could give the question paper along with the correct answers yeah so uh, once the answer key and so the uh, the council of architecture or the nata uh, uh, department have not yet uh, uh, released the question paper or the answer keys what we uh, have all the information is from the students themselves so once uh it is released it would be released uh, on the, their social platform so that won't be an issue yeah and on the note thank you to the students that have uh, you know really helped us out with the with the questions because without them sharing the questions yeah. with us, this session would have been in, in, impossible you know so really yeah, appreciate true. that yeah. um right um Oh, a lot of questions coming in <laughs> okay um right shri raksha bupal is saying we were not knowing about color theory of 10 marks question um right shri raksha you need to look into that shivang yupadya is saying the mirror image seemed like a water image instead i think uh shivangi i think different students got uh, there were few variations yeah. of the question so that's way uh, uh dion sorry yeah. can i yeah. add a word for that uh, mirror image question sure yeah uh, hi guys good evening uh this is meghna here so i don't know if you guys have uh, accessed uh, the dqh materials but just a point when it comes to mirror and water images always uh, look through if there is a straight line given parallel to the image see sometimes what happens we know mirror images left to right but uh, they could give you a line at the bottom of the image and still call that as a mirror image so what happens the image is going to come horizontally down not vertically towards your left or right it yes. could be up and down as well so they can still call that as a mirror image but the image answer will be a water image okay so don't just read through the word always look through how the image is given how the axis is okay yes. that's one thing 
and another thing regarding the color theory uh, point see again the same thing the fine art one questions that we had were actually covered up with all these topics in them so if you have not gone through them please go through and also when you're preparing it should not just be that you're uh, referring the question and learning the question you should have to do some research and understand the entire concept behind it that would uh, really be helpful because we do not know how they're going to twist the question so don't just stick to understanding the question please do work on and learn the concept as well it will be helpful and uh, also see uh, honestly speaking if you go through the questions we can always have a debate saying that none of these questions are for 10 marks or 17 marks right so don't just keep looking at the question based on marks it's about the you know how they're going to test your skills like how you how good you are at visualizing the tigers and how really clear clarity you have in the observation point of view that is what a faculty is going to check not the you know number of uh, or not the marks or things like that so please try to concentrate on those things rather than debating over the marks because that that is something that you should start working on now at least for the second attempt Okay, I, I think I you. think Meghna, fantastic point you made. All right, uh, very important. If I can share my screen again, um, just a second. Okay, I want to show uh, people what what uh, questions were there in the DQH. all right so and and the reason i'm saying that is because you would have got these are all part of the sample questions absolutely everyone here had access to these sample questions all right now you had question like this which of the following statements is true the square a is darker than square b or you know this these kind of uh, play with colors so this was a similar question that came in this would have been a question that came in okay uh, identify uh the number of colors and if you see the answer explanation you'll get the answer to that um match the following you would have got these concepts asked in the exam uh, shadows i'm not sure if anything related to shadows has come but definitely uh these concepts would have also been uh asked and you know so so it's all these concepts have been covered all right so rotational symmetry and uh, things like that would have been covered so if you go through this uh say you go through a question like this and you see okay rotational symmetry is one of the options the research that you need to do is okay if there is something called rotational symmetry there has to be some other types of symmetry as well so what are those types of symmetry so that's the angle that you need to do your research on all right so it's not just what what megna is saying don't just go through these questions and say okay i got this right or wrong but do a little more research on these on the answer options given to you as well all right so name the fundamental errors in the drawing right so there are uh, fundamental errors given here uh the head to body ratio used in these is an average one okay so so what i'm trying to say is that you had access to all these questions and um it's something which you can still work on for the next round okay um it's paris she p a r u s so sushant i don't know what you meant by p a r u s okay um all right coming back yeah dikshita saying octi triumph is in paris um so kaushik is saying the mirror image question none of the options suit the answer but i think uh, megna has thrown some light on that blessy janavani is saying when will they release the answer key please uh, be patient we don't know they need to do it they will surprise us but they'll do it all right uh pranav plays is saying i don't think they release the answer key so um megna from your experience last year did they answer uh, release the answer keys last year definitely did because the ex- uh, the test happens online so they release the answer key along with the question paper like i think how tejas mentioned 
there is like higher yeah. possibilities of the answer key coming out only after the second attempt because if they have to release the answer key they'll have to release the question paper along with that so yeah. i think uh, they'll have to wait for the second attempt also to get over then they might release it in one go all right uh, sony sony is asking will the questions marked for review will they be considered megna your opinion on this uh i'm not really sure about it was the answer marked and then you marked it for review i mean the student yeah. has to answer so if the question has been answered and still been marked for review i think they'll consider it for evaluation if not like without any answer if it's if it was just marked like that i don't think so they would be marking the scoring them yeah. so yeah all right um yeah so then shivangi upadhyay saying at least two questions in maths math had wrong mcq with insufficient info um what do you think happens in these cases uh, so because i don't think we are sure of which question that is so yeah but honestly that should that might not be the case it could be some technical issue that you didn't get the options or if it was genuinely a mistake from their end where the there was insufficient data and the options were wrong then i think like how we mentioned earlier they would be uh, giving uh, grace marks or you know everybody yeah. will be marked for that question yeah whoever if it's an error it. from their end but uh, generally that it's a very rare case that happens yeah yeah all right uh, shruti gopalan is asking do we get marks for the questions which were skipped because of technical issues um tejas your opinion yeah. on this yeah so <clears throat> uh, the answers which have been skipped by stu- uh, students so i am sure they might have some or the other uh, uh in from uh, some or the other means to check whether the answer was skipped uh, because uh, the students never attempted those answers so whoever uh, also said that seven uh, seven questions were skipped so it might not have happened that uh, consecutive seven uh, uh, questions the student might not attempt so they will surely look into that matter and they will uh, uh, give uh, the benefit of doubt to the students in this case i think but it is uh, a matter of, of uh, observation that we we need to be patient and uh, then look into uh, how the uh, council of architecture nata responds to, to these kind of problems so uh, let's be patient and uh, you will definitely have some positive uh, news in the coming days yeah okay so pranav is asking was it different question papers for different students i think it was different sets of questions that were given but similar yeah. questions yeah uh the color perception questions related to eyes were in depth not mentioned in the topic given for part b all right so now this is a question or comment from uh, yasha bandari um the color perception questions related to eyes were in depth not mentioned in the topic for given for part b Uh, i'm not sure if i understood this question uh, right do you have any comments on these i can i kind of do i just want to know if this question was part of part b because definitely they had mentioned that you know color related questions will be asked in part a uh, but i'm not sure if the question that she is referring to was part of part b because part b also they do have color theory in the syllabus like they because they learn uh you know common like under the gk part of it architectural awareness and gk part of it they do have some amount of color theory that they need to learn but uh, the question that she is referring to i'm not sure really sure to which part it belong to all right um next question from sneha gupta rough sheets were uh, she's asking if rough sheets were allowed for those who wrote at home all right so some of some responses to that are uh, that the students who wrote from home used rough sheets um 
However, the students who wrote from the center, were you all given rough sheets? I'm not sure. All right. Uh, yeah, but I don't think there, there will be any issues to use rough sheets because finally for few questions like maths and all that, you need some kind of a paper to calculate your answer. Yep. So, but on that, on that front, I think uh, you need to follow the guidelines given by the Council of Architecture for the NATA paper. Just follow those guidelines. If they say don't use, please do not use. If they yeah. say use, you can use. All right. Um, Sri Raksha Bhupal is saying we were not knowing about color theory of Bizold uh, and how you know how do we know everything. So, so um, you know Sri Raksha is asking about about the Bizold effect. You know, it's just so random. How do how does one study for that? Um, yeah. So 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 I think I think uh, the term was quite new, but I think that uh, that effect uh, we might come across in our daily life. But I guess uh, to make the question paper more tough. They might have few uh, topics or not topics, but terms which you might not have uh, heard of. So I think it is just to make the paper more tougher and to test your skills. Yeah. Yeah. So that is one aspect. The other aspect, I think you can also use elimination as a <laughs> technique because uh, uh, they just, if you go back to your slide and I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you can go back to that slide, which had Bezold effect. Yeah, just a minute. Um, Meghna, there's another question from Shivangi, who's asking okay. if, if <laughs> terms like Bezold effect and chromostereopsis was covered in DQ edge material. I'm not sure about Yeah, I was just about to say that. So this is exactly what I meant earlier regarding learning about the question. So I'm uh, so some of the examples that uh, Neon just showed had uh, questions regarding optical illusion. Okay, so I'm pretty sure you guys would have attempted the question and understood what op optical illusion is. But relevant to that, so all these, uh, uh, you know, Bizold effect and the uh, chromosteropsis and all these concepts are similar to illusions and visual effects. So you, your aim should not just be about understanding what optical illusion is. It should also be about learning the related terminologies. So if I say color theory, color theory is not just one term. It has, it's really wide. So it, it would be like, this is the effort that we are uh, suggesting you put up so that you understand certain major terminologies, at least so like how now uh, Dion mentioned about the elimination method. So that if you know the term, you'll not be new to it. So you'll at least be able to answer something rather than being surprised by looking at some new terms and not being able to answer them. Yeah. So uh, in this question, okay, um, Tejas, I'm, I'm not sure if you uh, have access to the information that I do. I think the the options were Bezold effect, which was the answer. Bezonomic, all right, was the second one. Bezos effect, that is as in Jeff Bezos, that, that way. And Bezuban effect, all right. Now, um, Bezos effect is, is, you know, something where students eliminated because they knew about Jeff Bezos and, you know, they, they yeah. kind of figured that was not the option. Bezonomic and Bezuban effect were not, you know, were a little yeah. too far-fetched. And uh, so Bezold effect was probably the better one that, that students eliminated and got it right, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I guess um, even if you are not familiar, you could take a calculated guess Yes. And and um, you know, eliminate from the answer choices, which is why we also recommend doing that um, on DQ Edge. You know, using yeah. those options, uh, the, the facility is given to you. You should probably use that. Okay. Um, deconstructivism was that covered in our uh, in our uh, DQ Edge deconstructivism. 
probably uh, Meghna would have some idea. Not really sure. Said Not yeah. Really sure. Yeah, but in the concepts, we have put up the questions like like how this dissolved effect was not directly part of the uh, content, but we did have questions related to optical illusions and visual effects put up. So uh, I think similar to that, we would have we do have questions, but maybe not the exact term used anywhere. Yeah. So so basically, deconstructivism is a style of architecture. So as you have modern style, Renaissance style. All, all those styles. So it is one of the uh, styles of architecture. So when when you search for styles of architecture, you can you will you can come across. Yeah. So we did have questions uh, put up related to different types of architecture styles and stuff like that. Yeah. So then uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that would be the deconstructivism for sure would be there somewhere. But yeah. where exactly I'm I'm uh, not entirely certain. All right. Let me just probably run a quick search and see. No, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But uh, but like I said, you know, it's 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 practically impossible to predict every question that is that is coming, but uh, that can come, and and that's you know that's also not possible to have everything. The 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 syllabus or content will be too vast. All right. Um, but at least in general, you had majority of the questions that uh, that have definitely come. All right. Um, or you would have experienced the concepts as well. So how to co cover those color theory questions from part A. Um, how to cover color theory questions from part A. Um, they just yeah. So there is question. a topic which says color theory uh, in our uh, syllabus, and it is also one of the topics in our at in our DQH, and <clears throat> extensively in learn and take a test, and uh, also the five hundred and one questions. The color theory has been covered. So I think you can just revise about uh, about the topic, and I think you will be able to answer most of the questions on color theory. The next exam. All right. Um, yeah. So Swati Deshmukh is asking from where did you get these images of questions and the questions to Swati? This is uh, primarily from Google, and um, uh, I, I'm, I'm not sure which ones are you talking about. The ones from the exam or the ones on DQH? Uh, the, some of the ones from DQH have been created in house. So um, the, and some are definitely from. Uh, common resources, uh, but the questions which have come on the question papers have been, uh, you know, shared by some of our students as well. All right. Um, so when will the results be out for the first attempt? Uh, there's some, some students are saying September 3rd. I'm not sure. Um, Sony Sony Excels is uh, asking is the questions marked for review, will those be considered? I think we answered this a little while ago. Um, if you had selected it and then uh, it selected the answer and then, you know, um, kind of put it for review, you, it was a different, it's, it's probably a different yeah. uh, possibility uh, that the answer could be, um, could be considered. Otherwise, if you had just marked it for review, then, for sure, it will not be considered, right? Um, two of the, okay, Shivangi is saying, two of the options in the matchstick arrangement questions were right. So would that matter? Uh, so uh, if it was the MCQ question, I'm sure it would have only one answer. And uh, I, I guess if there is any issue from their side, then they will uh, give you the benefit of doubt here. Yeah. All right. Uh, so Lena Nadella is asking, when will the next paper be discussed? The afternoon se session. So Lena, um, these were the questions that we, we got. If you got questions other than these, please let us know. Um, you could uh, 
message me and and probably let us know i will reply here with my <clears throat> number okay so uh all right so um just message me and then we'll we'll kind of figure out uh, and probably help you out with those answers okay swati deshmukh is asking uh, how can i join dq edge so uh, swati deshmukh the uh, i'm sharing the link here that's how you could probably join dq edge okay um you'll have to you'll have to probably purchase the study material i'm i'm not sure yeah okay um okay i'm going to run through these questions quickly because we're almost done with time so according to the syllabus there were 22.5 marks for pcm combined but there were a lot of math questions even after the 15 questions for pcm uh, this is a question from arij kadli uh yeah uh, so arij uh, not just arij everybody so if you guys go through the syllabus it's very clearly mentioned the mathematics section that is the pcm mathematics section does not include mathematical reasoning and sets and relations these two topics will come under the aptitude section so technically speaking mathematical reasoning and sets relations are part of the 35 questions not the 15 questions okay that's one thing secondly if you have gone through the past year papers you can see they do ask all these you know mensuration questions like finding the age or finding the area volume these kind of questions were also part of the aptitude section so please never have an idea that the mathematics will only be part of 15 you can also expect these questions under the 35 questions of aptitude along with reasoning and uh, architectural awareness and gk All right. Yeah. Right. Cool. Thank you for that, uh, Meghna. Amira is asking, how do we prepare for the knowledge-based questions that are very specific? Example: Chromostereopsis. Um, I think that that was covered. Uh, like what Meghna said earlier, you go through the syllabus or, or the information given in uh, DQ Edge, and then. look at the answer options and then study those answer options as well you need to put in a, a lot more effort in doing a little more research and that should help you out amira all right um swati deshmukh is asking is dq edge free of cost for dq lab students it's free of cost for uh students who are not for those who are not students of dq labs they need to purchase this uh you need to go on our website i've shared it with you and um, you need to search for nata 2020 new pattern questions and you need to purchase that okay um harsha jay shankar is saying bezold effect hold on uh, bezold effect was under optical illusions which is in the syllabus all right sanjana ms is asking is dq labs going to release more ptq type questions uh varsha manoj is saying the same thing it was helpful sanjana is saying it was helpful um yeah so um megna you can probably answer that could we work on few more questions absolutely we are working on it like we we also had to get some clarity from students and understand what kind of questions were asked and all that so like you can already see on edge we have predicted a lot of them even before the exam so definitely now that we have a definite clarity of what type of questions were asked so we'll uh, surely release more questions but uh, we cannot i cannot promise you it's going to come up like tomorrow or day after but definitely before the second attempt you will have more uh, ptq questions on dqh yeah i guess i guess probably it would take us about a week uh, the end of the week or uh, or so to release more questions similar yeah sure okay yeah um can you discuss questions which had color folding color washing color blending um right uh, i think tejas has this question right could you please share this question on color color yeah. mixing
Hello. Yeah, go ahead, uh, Tejas. Yeah, so basically uh, it was, uh, uh, I'm not sure what the graphic was, but basically you had to identify uh, whether it is color blending, color washing, color mixing, or there was one more term. So uh, I think- uh, I think color washing, is... color mixing, color flowing, and color folding. Yes, yes. And there was yes. a graphic which uh, showed some paint, which kind of different types of paint, which blend it, yeah. 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 So, uh, do you have some kind of uh, information on that? No, because I'm not sure, very sure about the question. If the student actually uh, shares the image, it will be more uh, image or try to find out what more information was there in the question. It would be quite helpful. Yeah, All I guess right. uh, even without the graphic, like to just to for them to get an idea, like there are a few terminologies which mentioned here, yeah. like the, there's a term called hues and then uh, you have color washing, color mixing, flowing and folding. So just to have a general idea as to what is color mixing or how different is color mixing from color flowing or what's the difference between color washing and folding. What is a who or what is a tone? What is a shade? These are all yeah. certain basic elements I think they should have knowledge on so that it is easier for them to answer the questions. Like how uh, Dion mentioned earlier, if you have to use elimination process also, you should know what the terminologies are. If you're not aware of it, then you will not be able to answer them. So I think that's something if you have not worked on for the first attempt, please yeah. do concentrate on those things for the second attempt. Yeah. All right. So I think uh, I've got a little more clarity on that question. When you paint two hues of the same colors, if you look at them for a long period of time, they tend to merge. What is the effect? So would that be color washing, mixing, color flowing or color folding? Not, not very. I mean, you don't have to answer this here because unless we get the right yeah. question in the right format, it's hard. All right. Uh, Sarita PS is from Kerala. Is there any Nata classes uh, for Nata held by DQ Labs? Uh, yeah, so so Sarita, please, we do have a center in Trishur. If you go on to our DQ Labs website, uh, you can uh, connect with our center in Trishur and Prabita is there. Otherwise, you could call us on our board number 959-100-1000 and we could help you out. All right. Um, can someone please explain the matchstick question? All right. Um, so the matchstick question has been covered. Okay. Okay, Swati Deshmukh is saying, I was asking about the exam questions you displayed and discussed. Um, yeah, so Swati, we are discussing those. Okay. Uh, Sri Raksha Bhupal is saying the DQ Edge material was very helpful. Thank you for that, Sri Raksha. I mean, that's that's very encouraging to us. All right. Uh, before we take the next few questions, if y'all are enjoying this webinar, please feel free to like this. Uh, the more likes we get, the more encouraging it is for us. So that would be in helpful. Um, so please like this webinar and also subscribe to this channel and, and share this webinar with your friends so that they also benefit from this. All right. Akhil Gowda is saying for the matchstick question, the options were one, remove the top two corners and two, remove the bottom two. Here, both options were right. Could you please share us and clarify it? Um, yeah, so the exact question we don't have, but the essence of the question is there. Uh, but uh, I, I think what they just mentioned earlier, in case there are multiple answers or even uh, Meghna mentioned this earlier, if there are multiple answers or if the answer options are wrong, both don't match, um, you'll have to wait for the Council of Architecture to give you clarity on that and they will, uh, uh, they will, they will, you know, that's the best thing that happens. Okay. Um, 
Leela Srinivasa, you're asking what is the answer for the matchstick question? I I think if you type in the match, matchstick question on, on Google, you will get the exact answer explanation for that. Uh, but we also have it here. Um, maybe let me try and um, get that for you. Okay, so I'm going to share my screen. Okay, I think this is the matchstick question. I'm not sure, but um, did anyone get questions like these, like this? Yeah. So again, I'm not entirely sure whether this specific uh, one was the question, but um, you know, if you look at uh, Google, you'll, you'll probably get uh, the option, okay? So, okay, uh, there's an interesting question from Sanyam Pandav who says, how do I deal with design principle questions based on NIFT or NID or UC or seed syllabus, which, ask, which was asked in the drawing section? Um, Sanyam Pandey, uh, Pandav, sorry. Uh, I think uh, we covered this earlier with the perspective, with the principles of of uh, design principles questions. All these have been covered in the PTQs which we have shared on DQ Edge. So if you go through that in detail, you should be able to help you out. Okay. Yeah, and just to add, uh, principles of design are same for everyone it is not different for nid or nft or architecture the principles of design are same for all the visual uh, and uh, creative careers so that is the same okay okay so yasha bandari is uh, giving us a compliment i mean uh, diksha mentioned that due to dq edge she was able to finish the entire part a the ptqs in half an hour uh, I think that is brilliant. Uh, Diksha has done very well. I think uh, that's brilliant and we are very happy to know that DQI just helped her. Okay. Um, thank you, Yasha, for that feedback. All right. So I think, uh, uh, oh, you want the link from above, right? Let me try giving you the link from above. Okay, so I've got the link. Varsha Manoj. So Varsha Manoj, I'm not sure what link you're referring to. But, um, but yeah. But yeah, I guess uh, we've come down to the end of the session. All right. Um, we've come to the end of the session and uh, I hope yeah. we've been able to, number one, answer your questions, answer, clear your doubts, answer your questions, or probably, you know, moderate your anxiety because we know everybody's been very anxious. So I hope to an extent we've been able to sort that out for you, number one. 
Number two is I hope that we have given you some direction to prepare for the next uh, NATA 2020, which is round two, uh, the second attempt. So I hope that has helped through this webinar. We've come down, there are no more questions, uh, at least, um, uh, you know, when I checked. So uh, thank you, Shivangi. And um, like I mentioned, for all of you who have been watching this, um, thank you for participating in this. Your comments, your, you know, you could please leave a comment after this uh, on our web webinar. Your, your comments, your questions, all of these are very important to us and really help us out in improving ourselves. And, um, right, so thank you, Tejas, for yes, being thank here. You, thank you, Meghna. Thank you. Meghna did have some uh, internet issues the whole day, but uh, uh, I'm glad you could be here for this, yes. Meghna. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, uh, Kilgauda is as a, as a huge, uh, huge thank you. Uh, so if y'all, if y'all are happy with the team, please go to Google, give us a good review, give us a good yeah. feedback on Google and Facebook. Uh, that would be very helpful. All right. Yeah. Uh, thanks once again. I'll be ending this stream right away. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, dear. Thank you.